Okay, I have a uh, Corbin. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, uh, it's a Rushman uh, cylinder lock. It has a uh, flywheel pin design in it uh, that you've seen before. The lock does work. This is the uh, fitting on the Rushman lock. Okay, it is locked up. Let's see if we can uh, get this done a little quicker than the last time on another one of uh, Flywheel's design. <clears throat> okay, let's use um, the top of the keyway again. And we'll start off with this pick. I will probably change picks before it's over with. But we're going to use very light tension. The uh, plug is threaded in all chambers. A little bit on uh, pin 3, I believe. Maybe it was pin 4. Not sure. Wasn't counting. Okay, a little bit on uh, 3, 2, and 1. Let's go to the back again. Okay, there's a little bit of a false set on pin 5. Pin 1 giving us a little bit more feedback, I believe. Might have moved a little bit. Let's go to the back again. A little bit out of pin... Six. Okay, let's change picks. Okay, we got a little bit out of pin one. It's still giving us some feedback though, I believe. Okay, got a little bit more of a false set out of pin 1. A little bit out of uh, pin 3. This pick's just a little thick for this um, keyway, but we can make it, I believe. Let's go back up to the front. Okay, got a little bit more faucet out of pin two. Okay, got a little bit bigger faucet, or no, it's open. Okay, that is open. Let's see if we can get it out without locking it back. Okay, there it is open. All right, let's uh, open this up and see what kind of pins are in it. Of course, we all know it's um, Flywheel's last design of pins. So,
Okay, let's see if we can do this right. I believe this may have to be shimmed. Okay, let's try that. Okay, um, as you can see, it has all the pins in the plug. They are all working. All right, let's check the, okay, serrated, 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 serrated. As you know, all my pins will be serrated. And most likely all my plugs will be uh, threaded. See if we can see this. I believe you can see threads in all the plug, in all the chambers in the plug. Um, I don't think I counter milled this lock but I did thread it okay. get the light just right there you can see the threads in the lock or the plug alright let's check our bottom pins now or top pins I'm sorry See if we can get this out. All right, this pin, I'll drop the, dropped it, but there's a pin. This lock has all these type pins in it. We'll get a close-up look of the pins. Drop the shim. Okay, one more pin. Okay, uh, there has uh, not been anything done to the Bible. Okay, this is uh, the pins that we have in this lock. See if we can get a real close-up look at the pins. This one was in there like this. All of them are turned down. This one slipped out of them. But anyway, you can see that the pins are um, and, and all the um, bottom pins are serrated. And all the um, top pins are serrated with the um, I call it a like a T pin through the lock. So they do they do uh, protrude uh, all the way through the pin or through the top pin the then on five and six is the same. These are all uh, serrated and the T pins, I call them, uh, that I make go through the uh, top pin. See if we can get this one up here. 
see if we can get it to focus okay that's the uh, little pins I make for these locks okay these um, type of pins are not that hard to uh, open or these locks with these type pins in it you just have to learn how to pick these pins once you learn how to pick them they're not as really difficult uh, as any other pins you just have to pick uh, more of them and so I appreciate you watching please not do anything illegal and please stay out of trouble and thank you again.